So, uh, I mean, the armamentarium, the therapeutic armamentarium for MS has changed in the last, uh, dramatically in the last 20 years or so. Uh, the most advanced uh, uh, therapeutic approaches are monoclonal antibodies, which has the advantage, advantage to be very targeted to, go to a given uh, target and so to be very effective on the one side and to reduce the side effects on the other. So we have um, different uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, useful for the treatment of MS. I will uh, review two of them, which is uh, two, two classes of them, one of which is natalizumab, which is uh, prevents the move of lymphocytes from the periphery to the CNS by blocking alpha integrins on the blood vessels uh, membrane. And uh, I mean, this is a very well-known treatment and uh, the new, um, new things about anatalizumab is the fact that the, there, is, there are studies now showing that you can space more the administration from four weeks to six weeks and having the same effect or the sub subcutaneous administration instead of the infusion administration. The drug has been shown uh, to be very effective since, since many years. The other class is anti-CD20 uh, monoclonal antibodies. We have several of them. The two most important and most recent are ocrelizumab on the one side, which is given every six months uh, through infusion. And the very recent one is ofatumumab, which is a, a fully human, a human uh, monoclonal antibody, which is given uh, subcutaneously every, every month. So both of them are, are very potent in uh, terms of, uh, in this case, is depleting uh, the um, B cells and their effect on the immune cascade leading to tissue damage in multiple sclerosis. And so the main, uh, main news in this area is the incoming of, of, of Ofatumumab, as I said, which is, uh, which is uh, a new uh, fully human uh, monoclonal antibody.